here at Sotheby's. I am kicking off Vlogmas episode one with a little tour of some luxury goodies. I had a really rushed morning, but we're now going to try on some really pretty things. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> So this section is just like all watches. This is like the full watches right? This is all like <laughs> And these are the all the ones that are going to be up for auction. Yeah, so like this side of the room is the important watches and then the other side is like the one So there's like five watches. So like these are the big ones. What are they like starting at, these ones? Um, well like on the end, on top one, it's going to be very classic. Yeah, that's so beautiful. So obviously we're still setting up a little behind the scenes. So here we have all the seven TPMs. These, so this one actually is a re-indition from Mark Jacobs did it in 2005, the bear, the DB bear, mm -hmm. and Roger Abloh brought it here. So, so I'm actually very happy to have it since it's Saturday recent. Of course, I want people to go absolutely perfect. So cute. Mimosa G's duo. Are these all in place? That's what's going to keep them in place. And then this color, one was soft, but it was a little bit for rough. Yep. Absolutely. Beautiful. Just in the Asian uh, community, they are mm -hmm. the Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there is the last one we'll see. This one's a 2020, however, um, they actually purchased it in 2021. Mm -hmm. Hermes is known for holding things back. Mm -hmm. And so you think you're in 2021. And this is Merino. This color is alligator, it's matte. We always think of matte when you Oh, then this bamboo color. This has been really high. Kind of mm -hmm. in 2014, I want to say. Forties, fifties jewelry. That oh, wow. Verdura necklace is spectacular. All colored zircons from about 1940. Oh wow! Um, just beautiful pieces. Very special Cartier Art Deco pin, mm -hmm. coral, and onyx. Wow! What's that one starting at? I think it starts at forty thousand. Oh, wow. Whenever you see gold and citrine like this, no, especially two colors of citrine, always Cartier London. Wow. I don't know why. Mm. And um, these all come off as brooches. No, so each one can be removed and worn as a brooch. Wow. But it's a fabulous necklace too. Oh, they don't make them like they used to. Don't make to. them like they used to. It's your lipstick. And then you've Is got that the original lipstick in there? Yeah. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? And then to close it, you just close it and then put the lipstick back. <gasps> Wow. It is 14.78 carats. Oh, wow. Eye color VVS2. 
It looks good on your hand. Beautiful. It just sparkles from every angle. Flawless diamonds. Wow. Stunning. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's actually better when you're not over the case because then you get backlit. Mm. Oh, so wow. So you do a little video like that. Mm. So beautiful. Oh. Good. Who's buying the tiaras? Um, the, the Royalty? Asian, Asian market is strong for tiaras. Oh. Um, bridal market. They, they do well. I mean, so pretty. I, I am love gonna it. I mean, That's it's great. It. Isn't it good? It's incredible. That is beautiful. And you can make it shorter. And then this Serpenti. This is newish. Mm -hmm. This is from about 1970. Oh this my gosh. This is one of the very rare Bulgari Serpenti watches. This one is all coral with ruby eyes. Wow. This is a treasure. How much is this one starting at? This is 80,000 to 120,000. Mm -hmm. The necklace is 300,000 to 500. Oh, That's what I would get. Could I try the necklace one? Yeah. What's the total carat? On that, I think it's about 60 carats. 60 to 70. Wow. But in the 60s and 70s, but really the 60s, women just collected these 18 carat gold evening bags. This is by Van Cleef and Arpels. And you just, that's the little clasp. So you just move the B and then it opens. That is so cool. Yeah. Incredible. So you can touch up your wow. makeup. That is so cool. It's amazing. Isn't it great? Kind of a rigid cuff, mm -hmm. but it's just fabulous. Wow. Isn't that great? So beautiful. What's total carrot on that one? It's uh, 60 carats. Wow. Oh, same as the necklace. Yeah. Wow. See, it's just easy on, easy mm -hmm. on. I think you should wear that with a necklace. Too small. <laughs> well, actually, oh, it, it does kind of fit. No, it's too, <laughs> that's too much. Um, 1914, I believe it's made, and it is really a treasure. So Louis Comfort Tiffany was from the, the Tiffany family, but he really mm -hmm. did the glass works, but he also did jewelry. So this is a very rare Art Nouveau mm -hmm. um, jewel. What do you think it'll go for? Probably maybe 250000 300000 Wow. Which is a lot for Nouveau jewelry. Mm-hmm. And then it, Oh, wow. When you wear it, it moves. Sotheby's to back to myself at home. Oh, Wade is waiting for his breakfast. Hold on. What's up, you guys? Um, after yesterday, we're not gonna have much to do uh, for the rest of the vlog. I'm just kind of going to go over what is going to be happening for the rest of Vlogmas. I know I didn't have a super big intro um, since I was at the auction house but it was so much fun getting to see all of those beautiful pieces and just hear from the experts a little bit more about them. 
So yesterday was a lot of fun. It was also just such a hectic day. I thought I was going to be able to vlog more while I was in the city, but I ran late and ended up driving in, had my nail appointment, just went with a solid, like nude, I don't know the name because it goes by numbers. And then after my nail appointment, I rushed to my lash appointment. And then I stopped by Hermes because my essay is finally back. Um, she was out for a few months. So I just stopped by, said hi, um, asked how she was doing. And yeah, that's it. And then went to Sotheby's and hung out there for a bit. And then I had to go back and get my car because the garage that I parked at was going to close and I made it with like five minutes to spare. And then I went to pick up Raku for Marco and I, of course, and then um, drove home. And that is how the rest of the night went. Today, I am just going to be cleaning up around the house. I have to film a couple of other videos for the rest of Vlogmas, um, but Vlogmas is going to be really, really fun. Just kind of want to chat and go over it because I didn't get to really film a like big intro or anything. I am determined to get more use out of my agenda. And so far it's been good. Um, the inserts that I have are from the line shop. Uh, I really love the way that their paper feels and I actually have a giveaway with them coming up, so stay tuned. Uh, it will be on YouTube, and then I'll just kind of like cross-reference it on Instagram so no one misses it. But I wish I could tell you guys how good this paper feels, but it just, it feels so nice. So let me pull up my Vlogmas list, because I did put that in here. So um, this is the kickoff video. Um, I will show you guys all the decor in a separate Vlogmas episode because the house is a mess. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but that's like our laundry rack over there. Um, I am doing travel favorites and must-haves because Marco and I are going to London this month. And so there's going to be some packing stuff. I am shopping with Cassie Thorpe, so that's going to be another video. Uh, we'll do gifts and wrapping. We are also going to be doing some giveaways. I have some really great stuff for you guys that I'm really excited about. And for the giveaways, I didn't know if I wanted to do something where it was like every week there's something or if I collect a winner every week and then we do like a white elephant thing. I don't know about you guys, but I love white elephants because I feel like you just get like I mean, that's just like what my family does. I'm one of six kids. Rather than everyone's budget, including gifting something to each sibling or parent or aunt and uncle, everyone just has a set budget for one really good gift. And I don't know, I just feel like White Elephant is so much fun, especially when you fight over presents and you steal. I feel like that would be really fun for this year because there are a couple of little things. And I mean, I feel like they're all pretty good gifts. So they're all in the same kind of price bracket, I want to say, maybe? So, um, yeah, let me know. And then wrapping up Vlogmas, I am determined to have the bag collection make this year's cut. If not the last video of the year, it would be the first video of the new year. Um, but also going to be doing a video on like bags I've sold and so we'll still have some kind of luxury sit down videos within Vlogmas. So yeah, that's what I've got so far. I think that's really it. I just kind of wanted to touch base with you guys and I'm really excited for Vlogmas. This will be the third year that I'm doing it. I mean, I'm not doing it the official Vlogmas way just because a video every day is very daunting to me. I'm not, I'm not that good yet. I'm still like doing all of my own editing and I can't figure out how people do it. So um, yeah, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays until the end of the year and that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for tuning in on this vlog. In case, I mean, I don't know about you guys, 
I cannot bid on any of those things at the Sotheby's auction, but in case anyone wanted to, I will have links to everything uh, down below, at least like each kind of segment. So there's like the high ticket jewels, there's the handbags, and there's fine jewelry. So in case anyone is curious or wanted to place a bid on anything, um, I will have links down below. So that is all for me. I am going to get started on some emails. It's nine o'clock, um, need to clean, need to get a lot done today. So yeah, I will see you guys for the next video and I'm so excited to kick off Vlogmas for a third year. Thank you so much for your love and support and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.